each class has a gallery. To access the gallery, click on the gallery link in the navigation bar. Now we've entered the gallery space. In here you'll find a number of albums. These all contain pictures for this class. In this particular class we have a teacher's gallery. You'll find this in all classes. We have a previous student's gallery and you'll find this in most of the classes. And then we'll have a current student's gallery. And these are images sent in from the students who are also working in your class. Let's click on the teacher's gallery. Once we're within a gallery, you'll see a lot of thumbnails. In this particular class, we have seven. These are small images of the large picture. We can click on any one. Let's start at the beginning. This opens up a larger view for us to see more detail of that particular quilt. When we place our mouse over this image, you'll see a next button in the top right corner. You can click on this to scroll through all the images in the gallery. You'll also find a previous button, which is on the opposite side, so we can scroll back through these images. Once you're done, click the close button to close off the larger view. Also on this screen, you'll find the next album in our gallery to make it easier to navigate through the album. Let's click on it. This is the previous student's gallery. Again, we can click on any one of these images. It's often good to start at the beginning so you don't miss anything. But you can also click on any one particular image and bring up the large view. Now you can see both the next and the previous buttons are available. You can also see at the bottom of your image some details about that image. When we're complete, just click the close button. And again, we can see the next album and the previous album at the bottom.